I would really appreciate uh, tapping into the mid-30s divorced women. Your time is up. It is very, very common to dream about an ex, to think about an ex. Even if they're in a happy relationship? Yes. What did you say? So I'm finally officially divorced and I'm ready to talk about some of the things that has happened. And one of the things was three months ago, I found out my best friend was one of my husband's sugar babies. Look how happy she is, but you've probably never seen a smile fade away so quickly out of someone's face. <laughs> These women were so happy about filing for divorce. Little did they know the price for their actions would hurt them later on. Let's see how long those smiles lasted for. So I'm finally officially divorced and I'm ready to talk about some of the things that has happened. And one of the things was three months ago, I found out my best friend was one of my husband's sugar babies. That was really hard. Um, not as hard as everything I found out in the beginning when I left my ex but really hard because I trusted this girl so much and I kicked everyone out of my life except for her. Uh, but anyways, this girl, um, I really loved her. I adored her. I went out of my way to like clean her house when she had a boob job and raved about her and told her how proud I am of her, like being a single mother and doing this all on her own. And she had a pony at her daughter's birthday party. It all starts making sense. But, like, I watched her kids, went to the gym with her every day, told her, like, everything. And <laughs> she was sleeping with my ex. Are you okay? Or his sugar baby, whatever they do. I don't know. I don't care. But the betrayal with that was really hard. And... I'm excited to finally like let it out. These when someone shows you who they are, believe it. Like freaking run. You don't need any of those people. Yes, I may have trust issues. I have a lot of trust issues. I have a lot of issues. But that was not something I did and I'm proud of who I am. So I am here to just let loose and tell everything. I guess she hasn't learned her lesson. She's still friends with the same woman who ruined her marriage, but this should serve as a valuable lesson. Learn to choose your friends. Not everyone who smiles and eats with you wants to see you happy. It is very, very common to dream about an ex, to think about an ex. Even if they're in a happy relationship? Yes. Then go be with them. Mm -hmm. Wow. If you're offended that your partner still thinks about other past lovers or potential lovers it's going to be a long life because relationships are a choice i fundamentally yeah, believe okay. that and the idea that you're not going to be attracted to other people because you have one spouse or one mate is highly unrealistic if you're dreaming about your ex thinking about your ex you should probably not date anyone until you get your thoughts under control it will have a negative effect on your new relationship. What exactly could you be thinking about? That just means you miss the person and the things you use to do together. Now that being said, there's nothing wrong finding someone attractive while you're in a relationship. But your actions upon finding that person attractive is the problem. If you were to break the boundaries in your relationship, so I've been on the dating apps, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge. I even downloaded Coffee Meets Bagel. I've been on these apps for years, right? And I'm 27 going on 28 pretty soon. Your time is up. Um, on and off for years, Tinder, yeah, all, all of them, right? And um, nothing really serious ever came of it. I've been on many dates. Um, I had one relationship, didn't really last that long, nothing serious. So here we are now. I got a roster, a lineup of three. Um, let's name them, um, what were the names I was going to give? Uh, Landon. So I left my aunt's house. 
because I had a date tonight. And and he's been flaking on me. But at the beginning, he was really good. Like, at the beginning, like, he was always on top of it, always consistent. And he's been having rough times, and there's evidence, like, he's, t- you know, taking photos and that stuff. And I'm like, okay, he's really going through it right now, so I'm going to give him a shot. Then he, you know, he's kind of on the come up right now, and he texts me, got to take my roommate to the ER. Um, if you were, if I was talking to me, I would stop talking to, he was like, I know you hate me or whatever. I'm just so tired of this shit. I knew driving home, driving home, he's probably going to flake. I just want it to be better. 2024. No more crying on these men that don't deserve it. This woman has been on dating apps for years and still haven't found a man yet. I wonder if she actually tried going out to the real world. Now let me deliver on my promise, where her smile fades away. What about the child support? A few moments later. That's it? Uh Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? Not all of this financial burden with my children is on me? On me? This woman was so happy about her divorce, happy about having custody of her kids. But as soon as she heard how much money she's getting in child support, her attitude changed. Not all of this financial burden with my children is on me, on me? Are you happy now? I would really appreciate uh, tapping into the mid-30s divorced women TikTokers. I don't know where you are, but I need you. I'm looking for the women who are several months, if not several years, out of their divorce. Mine was in the fall of 2020. And I just want to talk to you guys and hear from you guys about just, like, how the fuck you do it. (laughs) The same way every man does it. They tough it out and take accountability for their actions. By the way, this woman came to regret divorcing her husband because she realized she can't have children. So the only man she had in her life was there for her, but she ruined her marriage. Let's watch. How do you carry on? Um, How do you not let this destroy you? Um, Because if you're in your mid-30s, you know, you know (laughs) that said divorce directly played into your ability to have children. Where are you guys? (laughs) And do you need me as badly as I need you? Or have you somehow miraculously figured it all out and... Either way, I want to hear from you. (laughs) They always think the grass is greener on the other side. Ex-wife of 25 years cheated and divorced me. Now trying to contact me if I can talk. Hell no, I'm enjoying my life. The wall is undefeated. I left a good man because I thought I could do better, but I can't. They never learn about their mistakes, and they want companionship in their misery. The hardest part of my divorce, and I don't know if this is the case for other people, but for me, the hardest part is feeling like I am perpetually in an alternate timeline. And it feels like that because I never pictured a future or a reality where I wasn't going to be with my ex-husband and the community and family that we had. And I just find myself like over and over experiencing these moments of like just it's not supposed to be this way like i feel like i'm in the wrong timeline i had a moment this morning where i was emptying the dishwasher and just putting you know putting dishes away and i just broke down thinking like this isn't supposed to be my silverware This is not supposed to be my plates. This isn't supposed to be my kitchen. All of this is wrong. How did I end up here? And I'm trying so hard to find 
the good parts of this new reality or dimension that I'm in. And I, I am finding them in pieces, but... The you ended up there because you put yourself in that situation. You have no one else to blame but yourself. Subscribe.